Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Freelu. I am a engineer with Kubota Tractor, and with me is... My name is Presley Arms, and I'm also an engineer here at Kubota Tractor. And happy engineering week! We're here to get you guys excited about engineering your future, which is the topic this year for engineering week. And to do that, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own balloon-powered Kubota X Tractor. To start building your Kubota X Tractor, the first thing you're going to want to do is gather all your materials. You're going to want to make sure you have cardboard or cardstock. This will be the main frame for the Kubota X Tractor. Scissors to cut out your template and to cut out your cardstock. A balloon to power your tractor. Glue or tape to get your tractor to stay together. Coloring utensils to color your tractor. A pin to trace. Straws for your wheelbase. Skewers to make sure your wheels spin. And then a set of bottle caps or cutting out a circular wheel for your wheels. To start, you're gonna wanna go online and print out the PDF of the Kubota X Tractor. It's gonna look something like this. Go ahead and start by coloring this template. It'll be a lot easier to color first and then cut out everything later. So once you have all of your pieces cut and colored, they're gonna look something like this. There's gonna be six little pieces. Your cardstock's not gonna be cut just yet. So to cut your cardstock, you're gonna wanna take each one of these pieces, flip them onto your cardstock. Make sure you leave enough space between each piece so that you have room to cut in between. You're then going to take either your colored pencil or your pen and trace each one of these out and use your scissors to cut it out. So once you have all your pieces traced and cut out, what you're gonna wanna do is take the cardstock pieces and tape or glue the paper pieces onto that. This will form the outside of your tractor. Now, from here, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and glue the base part of the tractor together. Glue or tape will work just fine. So, this is the bottom part of the tractor. You're gonna wanna set that one down first. This is gonna be one of the sides of the tractors. You're gonna wanna make sure that the colored part is facing outward. This is gonna be the back of the tractor and this is going to be the front of the tractor. Go ahead and glue or tape this onto your base, doing the same with the other side. You can then take the front and glue it onto the front. You might need to score a little bit to get it to bend around the rest of the pieces, but it, it should have a shape very similar to this tractor here. Now, before you glue or tape the back or the top of the tractor, you're actually going to want to mark the place where your straw is going to stick out. So as you can see from this tractor here, the straw needs to stick out the back and the front. This allows the balloon's air to travel and propel the tractor forward. So once you have those marked, you're gonna either take a sharp pencil using parental supervision or a um, knife or scissors and go ahead and cut a hole out on those two spots. After those have been done, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take your bendy straw, making sure you have the short end sticking back, stick it through the hole you just made on the base and go ahead and glue that to the rest of the tractor that you already have. So this top part still hasn't been glued on yet. You guys just glued this piece on here. You're then going to take this top part and stick the new glued piece through the top here and glue that down and secure it. So the reason you wanna make sure the straw is in before you glue the back or the top is once you glue the back and the top, you won't be able to get that straw in. So make sure you get the straw in first, then glue the back and the top together. At this point, your tractor is going to look very similar to this one, but it's going to be missing the wheelbase and it's going to be missing the balloon. To get the wheelbase just right, you're going to want to take your little straw and the bottom part of your tractor and just measure a hair longer than what the base is. Go ahead and cut two pieces of that length out and glue those to the bottom of the tractor, one slightly more forward and one slightly more back. This will make sure that your tractor has a nice even wheelbase. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the skewers and measure just a hair longer than the straw to make sure that your wheels have something to spin around. They won't spin around the straw since they've been glued, but they will spin around this skewer. Once the straw has been glued to the base and the skewers have been cut to the appropriate length, you're gonna to wanna to take each bottle cap and poke a small little hole through it right here. 
This will allow the skewer to fit through nicely and will hold the wheel in place. Now, if you didn't have a bottle cap and you needed to cut out your wheel, you can still poke a hole through it. You might wanna just use glue to keep that wheel onto the skewer. You can then place your wheels onto your tractor. Now your tractor will look something similar to this. It'll have a wheelbase with its wheels. It'll have a straw. We're just missing that balloon. So what you're gonna wanna do next is take the balloon and you're gonna wanna cut this little teeny tiny piece off here. So this piece will be separated from the rest of this balloon. You'll then stick that part of the balloon on the top part of the straw. So it'll stick out a little bit like this. Um, you might wanna cut your straw to a shorter length so that not so much is sticking out, which is why this straw is a little shorter, up to you. Once that has been placed on the straw, cut or uncut, there will be a nice little gap here. If you leave it just like this, this balloon is gonna fall right off. So what you're gonna wanna do then is twist the balloon around, take your tape, and secure this fastening here. You're gonna wanna make sure you secure all the holes or else all of the air will leak out from here rather than the back. Once that has been taped and glued, your tractor's ready to roll. Presley, thanks for that awesome instruction on how to build this X tractor. Uh, now for the second part of the project, we're gonna build a Rube Goldberg machine. And you might ask, what is a Rube Goldberg machine? Rube Goldberg machine is a machine that is designed to do a very simple task in an extremely overcomplicated way. Our task is to simply give a horse water. But we very much overcomplicated it, just like every other Rube Goldberg machine. On the right, we have our X tractor. And our X tractor uses its kinetic energy to knock over these dominoes, which knocks over this other book and sets off these three different classes of levers. When the, when the water bottle falls over into the water trough, the horse then gets his water. Very simple. So blow your balloon up and let's give it a try. Okay. Hey, happy engineering week. Thank you and uh, happy engineering week from us at Kubota. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to share all of your creations with hashtag Kubota Country.